Once your gel has finished running, uh, you will need to reveal the DNA. You can't actually see the DNA in the gel, so you're going to have to uh, reveal it. We do that by staining the gel. Um, the stain binds to the DNA and you can then uh, put it under UV light and the UV light reveals where the DNA is on the gel. This stain binds DNA in a gel so it can potentially also bind your DNA so it's vital that you are uh, very careful with this, with this uh, stain. It has been shown uh, to be able to mutate DNA. This means that it is a potential cancer causing agent. So take home message here is be very careful. Uh, you will need to increase the amount of protection that you've got. This means using glasses and also latex gloves. The other thing to be wary of is that we don't want too many people around the staining station so it will be only one person uh, from each group that does the staining procedure. The staining stations are found at the sinks around the lab. You should, uh, once your gel has finished running, uh, you should glove up and come over to the sink where you'll find these plastic trays. You will also find the stain. Please leave most of the equipment here. Um, just pick up one of these plastic dishes and take it back to uh, your gel tank. At your gel tank, uh, take the top off. You know that your gel is sitting on a glass slide, so you just slide the gel off of that glass slide and into your plastic dish. Put the glass slide back into the gel buffer. At the staining station, make sure you know where your gel is. There'll be a lot of groups staining their gels at once. Um, take the stain and carefully pour in. You only need to just cover the gel. After five minutes of staining, um, take the cap off the stain solution and return the stain to the shot bottle. So just make a little funnel and carefully pour it back in. You put your thumb on top of the gel to make sure it doesn't leave the tray. Just give that uh, one rinse with water at the sink. And now you should take this over to, uh, to be photographed under the UV light. Is this staining station uh, and all the equipment associated with it have been used for staining previously. So any of these trays you should treat as potentially contaminated. Um, the bottle you should treat as potentially contaminated, so always wear gloves when you approach uh, the staining area.